Hi everyone, this is Marcel from Helping Hands in Snake Safety. And this is the puff adder. Now puff adder is responsible for some of the most prolific bites in Southern Africa. They are slow moving snakes as you can see. And normally when they feel threatened by us or by any other large creature, they stay absolutely still. And they rely on that pattern, their camouflage, not to be detected and hoping that we will just leave them alone. They have a very powerful venom which can lead to necrosis and even in case the medical treatment is not good, amputation and sometimes they do lead to death as well. Although with good medical care that can be avoided. Today what I want, you want to show you is how easy it is to catch this snake, not with this snake handling equipment, but with a simple broom which hopefully everybody has at home. And I'm going to use this and a bucket, which is right here. This snake, as you can see, wants only one thing, to get away from me. It wants to hide somewhere dark, so I need to give him that opportunity. And the only thing I need to do is gently notch him towards where he can hide. He will now catch himself. I don't even have to do anything anymore. It will feel safe in this, because it feels this is like a burrow. From here it feels safe, protected, and it can defend itself. I only briefly had to use the broom, and you also notice it never struck at me. This is a snake that can strike very quickly. In a fraction of a second the bite has already happened and immediately the venom starts to destroy tissue. But all this snake wants to do is get away. So bites from these snakes are always only out of self-defense. So this is a very simple and very safe way of catching a snake which could potentially kill somebody. There's no need to kill this snake. And it's better not to, especially in agricultural areas. This snake eats a lot of mice and rats, which otherwise would devastate our crops. They would eat our maize and other crops. So this snake actually is helping us by eating our pests. So if you ever come across this snake and it's too close to your home and you don't feel safe and you want to protect your children and other loved ones, this is a way to safely catch this snake. Now of course after this the only thing you still need to do is tip over the bucket because like this it can also get out again once I move. Simply move around. Grab it on the sides, never there, because then you're in wi within strike range, and simply tip it over. Now the snake is safely caught. A lid over it, put some rope around it, you take it to the forest, and you release it again in the same way. And releasing is very simple. Tip it over, and while you let the snake slide out, you move away like this. You're always protected by the box.